In this video, you will learn how to create an engaging whiteboard animation using your Android device. I will also show you how I script the videos and how I record my voiceover. You will also learn how to add engaging elements, emojis and even images. My name is Korede from Promise Studios. Here we teach everything about shooting and editing professional videos with your smartphone. If you are new here, please subscribe. Get your white marker board ready. Let's get started. To start clicking your project, just click on this plus button and uh, give your file a name. In this case, I will name it white board animation. You want to select your resolution. So in this case, now let's use that two, two, ten, eighteen, ten. Great movie. So this is what it looks like when you have opened it. Let me quickly take out now. Um, this first place are the road speaker. That's where you will get most of the files that you want to hide apart from. Just right top. So this way you get everything. So I'll click on speaker. Then, mind you, your internet has to be on. If not, you not have access to their offline files. So my internet is on now. So let me go back and come in again. So as I open the speaker, key, now you can see that I have new place for shape, animation, drawing biology, people, teaching, etc. So many ones here. So let me start from this. Pick your own. Here I can add image from my device. So I have a picture that I want to add. I can just have access to it here. Or if it's an SVG file or animation file or GIF that you have and that you have on your device that you want to use, you can just bring it in from here. So let's go to shapes. You can see different shapes that is available and then animations different animations that they've done already if there is any of these ones that just explain what you want to do you can just use it so you have drawings you have teaching school so many files are here so you just have to play with them and uh, see the one that shows what you are doing let me go back so let me start by adding a step so i use an app called google keep to do all my note taking and all the scripting that I want to do. So if you don't have it already, you can just go to Google Play and install it. So I check the description of this video. I have a link to it. So this is the Google Keep app for my phone. So these are the five tools that I've already been done that I want to use for this animation. So I'll just quickly copy the one I want to have to the first page. Let me copy this. I'll add step template. Start. So you cannot see the right top and here. So here I can change how I want it to be formatted. Is it by my left, right, or center? That's what you do from here. This place will change how the font size. It's currently at 100. Let's try how it looks at 75. Let's see how it looks at. 150 so you, you might just want to check the one that is suitable for what you want to do then here is where you change the font color if you want to use any other color apart from black this is where you change it then here you change your font type any other font that you want to use this place now if you made a mistake and you want to make corrections to your right top this is where you do it and add or remove any font then if you are done you just click on this screen and that's it well let me see open it back again now the first thing here is delay this delay is how many seconds do you want this animation to wait before it starts playing so i'll leave it at zero because i want it to start playing immediately this um immediately this page comes in so now the duration is how long do you want this animation to play let's see how fast or how speed is now now, you can see that it's practically too fast, so I will need to slow it down a bit. 
So let me change it to like five seconds. Let's see the difference. This video you so if this speed is okay by you, you can say okay. And if it is not, you can still reduce it. But if you see, you see that so part of it is cutting off. So that's what I will do in this size. So I can increase or reduce how I want the place order for my test to be. So that's what this place does. Then this pause is after the text has finished writing. How long do you want it to wait before it goes out? So I say five seconds. Let's see what happens. Okay. So it has finished playing now and it's waiting. So if this is what you want, that's how you do it. Or if not, just leave it at zero. So another thing, if I want to duplicate this now, if I want to create another, yes, so I click on this button, I see that I have two files of this same thing again. Okay? So this is where you I want to duplicate it. So if I want to delete it, I just press this delete button. Then come back to this. Okay. So if you want to add animation apart from the normal handwriting, this is where you do it. Click on this and then select any other one. So that's how the file will actually play. You can see instead of the normal handwriting, this is what's happening now. So that's all what I want. So I will change it back to the fourth animation. So to it right and so this is how I want it to come in. So basically that's everything about here except for these other two buttons let me show us quickly what they do by bringing and um let me just bring it an, an animation um these ones are the ones i've used recently so let me just bring in one of it so you can see this animation is on top of my right top so i want it to go under of my right top i'll click on this one so that it's under it why yeah it brings it on top so that's what it does now if i want to flip my now, this animation if i click here you can see that it has been flipped the other way around so that's just it so basically that's what all this button does here so, so let me delete it i don't want that one here so if i'm done i'll just click on good this and button is where you change how you want your pen to look like let's see what this one looks like i see this so if this is what you want this is where you change it then let's see the other one see it's pencil so if it's pencil you want to write, that's where you change it. Now um, I will still use this normal hand as the right one. So it's, you can see. So that's basically where to change it. That then the, this music is to add a background music or a voiceover. This way you do that. We'll come to that later on. Now this background is how to change the overall background color or image. If you want to use a particular picture for your background or two. Okay, let's say I want to use this one complete letter head. I will need to crop it. We use 16 by 9, so I'll take up the 16 by 9. Now, let me take it the way I want it. Okay. So this affects everything. So if I create a new page now, you will still have that same background. So that's what happened there. But if I want to change individual background page not everything so let's say this page too now i don't want it to have this i can if i click on this two dot here i can select can see select background color select background image if i say color and i use uh, let's say this one so you can see now this particular page has a different background from all that others are still having the other one but so if i want to use an image for this particular page so this is what i want to do is select this background for this as well there. If I add the right top now. So if this is what I want, so this is actually how I'm going to do it. I can bring this one down. Okay. 
to go to that's not what I want. I'm going to remove it. Let me give it back to my back home. I'll use why. So let me bring in some speakers now. So yeah, on our recent, that's where you see the ones you use recently. But you can go and look for other ones that not used to. Yeah. Let me bring in this one now. If I press play, this will take me back to page one and start playing. So instead of that, I'll click on this three dots here and press play. This is only this page. So let's do some arrangements now. You come to reorder. Now, this, if I want this image to appear before this particular right top, this is where I will change the position. So let's play now. So at the end of it, if you want to add a voiceover or a music, you click on this music, then you click, if you click on this voiceover, it will start recording and then you start seeing, you can start reading it out and do it. At the end of creating everything, if you want to save, you can just click on this save button and then you ask you, do you want to save your project? Yes, that means your project is saved and probably you are done. Now if you want to save it as a video file, you click on make movie. So what I usually do is that I make the movie, then I take it to any other editing software to add the voiceover and uh, probably cut off some parts that I that maybe delayed too much because I find out that if you are if you are comfortable with the case here, you can actually add the music here and everything here. But uh, when I was trying it, I just found it easier for me to finish it here, make a movie, then go back to my editing software and then I can be able to do my voiceover there and uh, add my background music and any other thing I want to use to fine tune it. I can use my editing software which is more flexible for me. So I have a video about the uh, editing with Kinema site as what you want. I want to check it out. So when I click on make movie, it's going to ask me to name it. So I can just simply give it a name. I'm waiting for it to finish. So the next thing it's going to ask me to do is to save it in a particular folder. So I created the folder on my phone. So my file is saved. If you have learned something so far from this video, please let me know in the comment section below. Like and share this video, it will help it to be seen by more people. I want to show you how I did videos in Kinemaster, if that's what you are interested in. Then watch this video over here. Or, you can watch this other one instead. Alright, 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 alright. <laughs> that's all for today. Please subscribe to this channel, like it, and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.